Ja, schönen guten Abend. Good evening. Ähm, wie immer, die letzte Veranstaltung auf dem so, Congress Security Nightmares. The last event of the Congress Security Nightmares. Wir darüber reden, was Once so again, we'll talk about the things that happened in 2011 and the things that will happen in 2012. Wir haben dieses Mal eine kleine Änderung and dabei. This time we're going to do it a little differently. So after 12 years, we think there should be some. Uh, should, it should mix it up a little. So when you look at the title, it says brainstorming and discussion, and this is how we began. And then over the years, the discussion fell a little short over the years. So this year, we want to have more discussion. That means you can already think about what you are going to want to laugh about next year and what you think is likely. And slowly position yourself at the microphones. The rule will be one short statement per person. One of the reasons that we um, reduced the, the discussion part was that this Obviously, some was something in the water that led people to talk a lot. And then we actually saw the stats for the mate consumption, and now that we know that people are actually drinking mate instead of tap water, we believe they can keep themselves short. Das ist die zwölfte Veranstaltung. Wir stellen das jedes Jahr mit Verstorben. Um, wir gehen auch davon aus, dass es nicht die we letzte every year that it's already going on so long and we assume that it's not going to be the last one, even though the Mayan calendar predicts uh, the end of the world for December 22nd on the next year. Also, wir gehen einfach davon aus, es wird so, sich einfach dabei offensichtlich um einen Fehler handeln. We, we're just assuming that this is uh, going, obviously going to be a mistake. Yeah, it's an implementation the error. Sein, the concepts are probably right, but the implementation is probably going to be faulty again. Um, um, die, die agenda is so the agenda is the same as always. We talk about security nightmares that we uh, not always seriously um, we want to talk about the secret times we want to have because they might change something. And we found some interesting things this year. We just think, well, that was obvious. But just because they, they were revealed in a specific manner, they might actually change things. Then, of course, we want to think about the security nightmares that we don't have, want to have. Because, as always, being prepared, um, being warned is being prepared. And, of course, being warned might just mean not to not be surprised. So, the general perception was, when looking back last year, that it's always, it just keeps going, keeps going, but there's no real progress. It just continues, but there's no progress. Right, so let's begin by asking the audience a little who here has seen the uh, 11 okay, sessions before this and who secretly watched some of the old recordings? Ooh, Ooh there are some okay. fans in here. Um, good, then the fifth. All right, so who's seen this for the fifth time? And the first? And who's seen this for the first time? Okay. Okay. Not bad. So there were a few people who saw this uh, 12 times already, but only a handful. Um, some more people actually saw this for, see this for the fifth time now, and about 50 first timers. So everybody else has been here for less than five years, but more than one year. Right, fine. Let's begin. So. One very special highlight this year is that uh, we're going to look back at the year 2001. Even though you might be surprised, it's actually 10 years ago. And no, we didn't accidentally all slides. Recycle, I suppose, is the missing verb here. Yeah, we have a lot about wireless geredet 2001, also Bluetooth, WLAN, and so. Yeah, that was the total hype, or? So we looked at the wireless, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. That was full of hype. Everybody has talked about local area networks, body area networks, citywide area networks, and then the networks just became more. 
Ja. More diluted than you just said lots of circles on slides. Also, dass man immer so dachte, das ist so schön abgeschlossen und endlich. It's also funny that they always used circles. It always looked like it was actually a specific area and they, people imagined that uh, radio waves actually end at the receiver. This only goes five meters and not even if uh, somebody has a Pringle scan in their hand. Internet-enabled fridges. Who of you has an internet-enabled fridge? Sie, Sie haben uns Internetkühlschränke versprochen. They promised us internet enabled fridges. Also ich habe tatsächlich auch mal welche gesehen, so, I actually aber saw some ones, but so, dass der Kühlschrank das like Internet hatte. Also only the fridge itself <laughs> had internet, so it could entertain itself, I guess. Aber so richtig nützlich irgendwie hat But actually ja useful Technik internet fridges. No, it seems nobody figured it out yet. Luckily. Yeah. yeah. Das, das kommt dann ja mit mit den so. smart this sooner or later this will, uh, smart this will come with the smart home appliances and with the smart meters they probably get internet to the fridge too. Well, well, yes, smart meters, we will get back to that. So this year we already had uh, remotely controlled printers. Ja, Entschuldigung, ich habe jetzt die Fernabfrage Heizungsablesung übersprungen, weil wir die überspringen wollten, weil es dazu überhaupt nichts zu sagen gab. Genau, das ist ein Thema, was total also promise, uh, remotely, remote controllable um, heating. Es gibt auch überhaupt keine and Notwendigkeit, actually nothing at all happened there. Also Druckerkopierer mit LAN. So printers, copiers ja dieses, on the LAN, on the network. Da ist ja viel passiert. Die letzten Lots of things happened there in the last 10 years. This year we had a highlight Spontan where Fernsehbstentzündung. We actually spontaneous remote combustion. Das ist dann, glaube ich, schon sehr extrem, wenn plötzlich die and that is quite extreme when suddenly the internet reality meets real reality also by allem, going off the flames. Im passiert, Especially since it didn't actually happen in a nuclear uh, nuclear center in the, in the basement. It actually happened next to a desk. So now we know what's going to what's in stock for us when the internet enabled fridges arrive. So it's content dependent, what happens then, huh? Yeah. There's a heat exchanger there, and of course that can also go backwards. But then you don't automatically get a, an oven. So, that, that's a feature called uh, pre-cooked. Ja, mit Mobiltelefonen haben wir uns auch 2001 schon beschäftigt. Ihr wisst ja, Mobiltelefonprobleme sind... So in 2001, we also talked about mobile phones, of course. Jedes Jahr voraus, dass jetzt mal... Every year we predict that there will be a mobile phone Trojan. Genau. Und rückblickend ist natürlich der eigentliche Gag gewesen, dass wir gedacht haben... And looking back, the actual joke is that we thought that Nokia and Microsoft would actually last this long. Es ist schon erstaunlich, ne, wie schnell sowas gehen kann. It's curious how, how, these, how fast these things go. Nokia, who would have thought a few years ago, ten years ago, that Nokia would actually begin producing rubber boots again? Weil es vielleicht profitabler ist, als Telefone zu machen. Because it might be more profitable making phones. Well, but 15 years ago there was a company. Ah, now the age test. For 15 years ago there was a company that in their ads said. Present and future of network computing. Und sie hatten sogar and recht. they were Zum right, Zeitpunkt because at that time, who knows, who remembers? Nein, nein. No. Was sind die denn heute what are they today? Patent trolls? Uh, yeah. Haven't they bought a Linux or something? I think, in, in a, essentially, yes, they are patent trolls. Yes, no, novel, novel is the right answer. Yeah. Right. And the thing about the smartphones, we thought, uh, Something will happen with the smartphones. Which one of you has had a Trojan on their smartphone? Okay, okay falsche, falsche Frage. wrong question. Which of you has a friend who had a Trojan on their smartphone? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, well, two. Wenn die Geschichte lustig if, ist, if the story is funny, here are the microphones. <laughs> yeah, cool. 
and, and family support, family support cases about mobile phone Trojans. Wer hat denn hier immer noch kein Smartphone? Which one of you still hasn't got a smartphone? Many raised hands, including my own. Das ja gefühlt ein Viertel. That's about a quarter. Nicht so schlecht. Not bad. Fühlt ihr euch denn sicher da? Do you feel more secure? <lacht> Wie schön für euch. How nice for you. Ja, das ist das, well, was ihr glaubt. Well, that's what you believe. Ja. Well, uh, one of the things that we thought might happen in 2001, location-based spam. Well, you know, you walk around and there's a blip and up there you can buy a coffee or something. And um, interestingly, uh, this didn't really happen until now. Also, es gibt halt eben well, ein paar there are Startups, some startups Foursquare, such as Foursquare that are working hard on this also so that you can finally make this prediction become a reality and we're looking at this with great sympathy and uh, we, we, we always like to be able to say I told you so even if it's after 15 years but then we thought the Bluetooth would be the carrier but uh, that somehow didn't work at all but now we get low energy Bluetooth and Bluetooth 4.0 right? But I don't think, no, no, that will go over the central network, um, the help for more frequencies, well, NFC, NFC, yeah. NFC offers a lot of hope, yes, you can say that, uh, truly there is a lot of uh, things to, to be done there, such as NFC Androids, uh, you can uh, spend a long winter afternoon looking at that, and, uh, the story isn't that a, a long winter afternoon, uh, or I was so bored on a Sunday afternoon, but the story now is my girlfriend left me and I had a bad mood, I was in a bad mood. And that NFC thing, of course, uh, is a way to, to get the money to do things like that when you're in a bad mood. But when was this uh, putting an RFID into every banknote? Yes, that was 2001. Banknote chips. Yeah, nothing happened. Well, obviously there are still enough people that want real cash. Uh, one thing we had in 2001 was GPS and TMS spoofing. TMS spoofing. TMS spoofing. Beides passiert. Das Both hat happened. Jahr yes, we had impressive ja. use, case. use cases ja. this year. Drone vom uh, drone, getting drones down from the sky in the, the desert oh, Wasser, or over water. Ah, the last Wasser. report was ja. over water. Und gut, also and, uh, well, ja, die, uh, TMS spoofing, TMS spoofing in, of course, in we've had that sufficiently ja, at the Congress, but that surely that, that so means looking at it in reverse, that a drone from the Americans has a sensor in it uh, that uh, doesn't trust as much. You know, these, these, these drones here would have ultrasound sensors. If, if you would uh, GPS that, if you put GPS in there and give that more rights than ultrasound, then, well, it then wouldn't just, you know, hop over okay. grass as it, as it does. You have to set yeah. your priorities. But, well, that drone thing uh, was one, and, and there were many stories and, and rumors that probably the world would not be told about, at least for a while more. As we said, it's about 15 years until things like that come out, um, because it's so normal that police drones or something get lost or, or fly somewhere where they were not supposed to do and uh, yeah, also yeah. So haben wir noch mal, maybe um, finally we will have an anti-drone yeah, so, so and another of these things another of our hobbies were the OS cross OS worms but these not really materialized uh, until there was JavaScript and that raises a lot of hope still. Yeah. yeah. Well, not, not, not OS. That was a bit optimistic. Okay, maybe. Now, 25 years ago, we had the first PC virus as a protection against copying has to be said, and uh, this is funny because uh, about five years ago, we had the Sony rootkit, uh, and this year, there was a carrier IQ 
Also, so, um, das ist ja nicht that's gegen Raub für Raub not really Maschinen, against uh, copying, but what do you call it these days? Quality assurance. Und, and, uh, and then there was ne? diesem, this scare, wasn't there, about the um, this platform? Also, what was the platform? A game platform where there was a rootkit. Origin? Yeah, origin, Ori genau. origin? Yeah. yeah. Die, die um, that was the. Uh, yeah, they had. Uh, they did get a lot of data about you out, uh, but, but they were relying on people installing this anyway because they, they wanted to play. So that was a classical example about the game industry always being getting around to. Eigentlich viel bessere Softwarequalität bekommt, als wenn man es kauft. Managing the copiers, getting much better software in the buyers. Also ich, ich sehe das ja schon immer, well, immer wenn Fefe dann so ist, dann so anfängt zu sagen, ja, jetzt kaufe ich mal noch ein Christmas is Spiel getting so, closer oh Gott, and Fefe says, I'm going to buy a few games, of, I think, well, surely he's going to be in a bad mood for a few more weeks. Dabei weiß er es eigentlich schon. Muss Although he actually sein, knows it. Genau, dann, dann, exactly. Genau, and das, uh, Internet and the Internet Normality um, Update von aus uh, 2011 in numbers und, uh, in 2010-11, so, um, uh, just to show how things Internet, are, how things stand, um, you can Website hack a normal Website for 9.99 and buy account access data for 80 to 700 dollars. Uh, uh, depending on für the amount of money on, on, on the account, credit card data, 2 to 90, that price actually fell recently because of a over, das, oversupply. Oh, ah, someone has some for 10 cents? And how much is on the credit card? Oh. 10 cents for a Visa Gold, we have inflation. Um. Das heißt, wir, wir referieren hier gerade Apothekenpreise. So, we're talking high prices here, oder, right? Oder vielleicht sind es auch einfach Qualitätsanbieter, Or die wir gewählt haben. could it be quality suppliers that dann, you were choosing? Yeah, maybe. And then the funny thing was, uh, buying, Dollar, wenn man buy nicht some, seine buying by proxy, $100 if you don't enter your own address in the credit card, but that um, of a proxy, um, because uh, the topic of proxy for internet in buying was not in our preview uh, for new job yeah, areas. Yeah. That, that was a loss, a, a miss, definitely. Die Schön fand ich auch What was nice, uh, the also cash machine, an interesting cash extra machine features. with extra features, features. Uh, but otherwise in the original state for 35,000. So, and please put this up, set it up wherever you want. And there was the, and then there's always those people that uh, withdraw from the hole in the wall. Another nice thing, government web server route. The account on the silver tab, silver, silver tray for 499. Uh, but these are smaller countries, right? I think it was U.S. government. Yeah, <laughs> Well, there's nothing to be got there. Account access data up to 700 dollars. Government route 500 dollars. Yes. They just have, they're all in debt, aren't they? It's just a decorative Luxury. item, I guess. Luxury item, yeah. Mm, uh, what are going to take? The iPad or root on the government server? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Apparently 31% of you citizens are infected with viruses in 2010. I have no idea where that stats from. It's probably from an antivirus company. So 31% of all EU citizens have gotten themselves infected with the virus in 2010. Um, of course, in, it's, it's different per country. In Germany it was apparently about 22%. Which I find rather low. And then, of course, there's a, this number. One, one, uh, one official cyber attack per week, and that only counting the successful attacks. So there's only one successful cyber attack per week from the state.
Also, so, if, if you're looking at the, the number of successfully installed Trojans, and if we, if we go back from there, it's apparently both. So, so the question I ask myself here is, what, what do they mean by successful? So how far did you actually go to be, to be able to call it success? Does it mean that the, the computer, the, that the computer reported back to the command and control center or something? Probably. And there are supposedly between 350 and 500, uh, 350,000 and 500,000 zombie computers in Germany. And of course, uh, within two years, this will go, this is supposedly supposed to go towards zero because of our yeah, cyber my, defense center. I'm, I'm glad my, my government is preparing for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Genau. Und, und so exactly, and because it's gibt's so, so mit BSI -Gravur oder so. maybe there's then maybe you can get access with the BSI engraving, which is the und, German und so Institute for Computer Security. And one, one very bitter the fact that there's only one mobile phone manufacturer that actually uh, delivers updates over the air without taking carriers into account. Okay, only one. This is not worthy of applause, please. And two more actually have the infrastructure in place to do this. And one actually got Was? it. Got it. Denk doch mal kurz nach. Denk doch mal kurz nach. Die, die, was mich fertig macht, Please. ist, dass Microsoft just, ist es just nicht. think a second. And the thing that kills me is it's it's not Microsoft. Ja, hm. die beliebte Rubrik. <coughs> yeah, e well. Fortschritte. Ja. Progress and e-government. <laughs> ihr, ihr wisst noch, wie wir das messen. Also government. To remind you how we measure this, we, we measure the progress in e-government in the past by looking at how much data a uh, government has lost over a year. So the logic is, uh, the more data there is, the more data to lose. So more loss of data equals more progress. And the clear winner this year is definitely Israel, who lost their complete census data. Es gab zwischendurch, glaube ich, Gerüchte, dass die there, there were rumors in that they um, in, in England weggekommen sind, aber also lost the complete census data in, in uh, the UK, but apparently that was not true, so. or they were successful in containing Und, that. Um, okay, da and das since the in den doch election computer massacre war, in the last few years was rather excessive, ein, ein auch there's only one step back in the äh, government. Austria also uh, finally got a, äh, a Supreme Court decision von, von and they will get rid of um, das jetzt in voting Stellen computers. Also klar ist halt die so it's clear that when in, in countries like Germany and in Austria, they get rid of voting computers, these computers have to go somewhere. And so now we're looking, uh, we see that they are trying to get voting computers established in Russia. When you look back at the, the pictures of uh, President Putin going to the election and we put his voting slip into a machine, it looks like a shredder. And no, of course, it wasn't a shredder, it was an optical scanner. So you, you actually mark your, your vote and you put the put the ballot into the and over, uh, using the scanner and they also had some touchscreen voting machines so that means the OECD that actually was actually in the country to um, also wir können auf jeden Fall auf weitere Fortschritte hoffen wenn auch nicht in kann Europa so doch auf jeden Fall drum to regulate the elections actually yeah, didn't. So the cyber war, we um, had some incidents, uh, very many. Um, we had uh, some some practices in cyber war um, also, and they were very successful, make no mistake. So there were very many reports about um, 
The, the success of those uh, training, trainings, what they trained uh, was a little unclear. So my, my idea is they're standing before a map of Europe and they will uh, pull plastic figures across the map with um, yeah, the digital tanks and maybe there's a <laughs> flanked uh, attack over Usenet or something maybe. Um, But then um, we're waiting, still waiting for leaks leak from pictures of that. The next one is... Uh, last year we uh, had the topic research in motion versus India, uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, um, United Arab something. And, and, rates, and um, these kind of things, this thing has already happened um, for any, you can choose any kind of government for any kind of platform uh, on which information is exchanged. The only ones that have managed to shoot themselves in the foot uh, in terms of PR were research in motion because they managed to produce um, headlines such as in England such as uh, they will help to um, um, to, to contain the protests and or controls, uh, the co protests and the communication about the riots in London um, via Black Ferry Messenger. So, yeah, the um, PR department at Rear Rim must be really special experts. Um, the, the electronic um, health card in Germany has been. Uh, uh, has been implemented and there's some data about that and there's some progress. Hmm? Well, ha look, um, the, such a platform has to be uh, implemented and then people will get used to it, then you can build upon that and then the data can get lost. But that's the natural course of the things. And they had an innovative story. Um, I'm not quite sure how much confirmed it is that some um, electronic health cards without people without where people handed uh, didn't hand in the photo. These data landed at the registration offices, and uh, then. Um, The, the question is there that uh, if that is the case, why wasn't it the case that the registration offices don't save the pictures on the uh, identity cards? So now there's obviously a network between uh, um, between uh, health insurances and registration offices uh, to exchange pictures, and uh, that's clearly progress. So that's what we've got to keep an eye on. So the next thing is uh, the ta taxes and incomes uh, services. Uh, has been digitalized and um, so um, the, what happened there was uh, that uh, what Well, I try to track data using GPS and uh, we try to reconstruct the whole affair and it seemed to be more to it than uh, we saw at first glance. And they actually uh, read all the data for, uh, for an extended amount of time. And, uh, so very successful uh, agency was the financial agency this year. It was a very tiny problem. We're still not sure if it's not a feature. And, uh, I thought you could get credits from them, especially for uh, persons in, in certain high-ranking uh, high positions. So maybe there was just a way of special so, access for those people. Also and also we have a, a, a council for cybersecurity since April. And uh, one thing I had on the list, but I took it off the list, keeping that for later is uh, a yeah, foundation for, for data security, because not much has actually happened there. And in a way, that is progress. Because uh, they started the whole foundation, but in the meantime, everything has come to a halt. To a halt. And in a way, that is good. There were also some uh, steps back. The uh, digital razor for the for the for pictures on the internet didn't work out, and also the uh, the electronic uh, identity card. 
has not been implemented yet, but it could still come in the future. And it looks like the uh, Austrian government is, is not very open to the idea of e-government, as we can see on the uh, disaster they had with voting machines. Auch ein anderes sehr schönes Produkt, nämlich den Staatstrojan. There was another very fine product was the government Trojan, which cannot be used right now. They were they had a major, major setback there. And finally, with the project Open Data, and there are bad news about that. The uh, German government has claimed that the initiative government Open Data, like they have data.gov in the US, and we, they intended to start that here in Germany in 2013 as well. And if you haven't had a look at data.gov yet, go there, have a look at it. It's, it's uh, quite interesting. Rumor has it that in the US, where they started three or four years ago, the whole project is especially helpful for the authorities because they don't have to to uh, ask others if they can have the data, they, they all have to put the data that they have into this data.gov platform and can import it from there into other branches. I know they have uh, expressed their intentions to implement something which is nice because they don't have to actually have to do anything. But what we don't have is the, a right to have a, an electronically accessible government. That's something we still don't have. Another thing we would like to have where it's not really clear what the results currently are is, is we would like to have a license that ensured that the, the results are uh, made exactly as open as the data itself. Because right now the uh, people who profit from those, these projects are the people who profit from, from collecting uh, a lot of data anyway. So in a way you should uh, make sure that there is a license in place in these initiatives that makes sure that everything that results from, from processing your data are available to all. Exactly. When I saw this data.gov project back in the day, I thought, oh wow, in two or three years max, we will see very impressive things. All the data will be fair, everyone will be able to access it, and there will be a lot of fans for, of statistics, and they will read all that, and will tell things to the US government, uh, things that the US government would never have thought about it themselves, and this will take them so much forward that, that uh, we will be left behind over here in Europe. That's what I thought, but uh, in reality in the past four years nothing really happened. Now, okay, you can argue that uh, they have to uh, normalize stuff and, uh, and decide on, on standards and whatnot, but uh, it's my personal opinion that what I want to see, in order to, to have someone to, to ask what did you do with the data, I want to see which IP addresses access which data and how often do they access it. This is something that needs to be published. And now we come to the uh, field of data crime. Sorry, there was one step back that we forgot to mention. We still have that, those bad security issues because we do not have data retention right now in Germany. Yeah, that should not be left unmentioned. This incredible amount of, of loss of data is uh, it's really a pity. We should mourn that. And politicians, in fact, do that. This year, a lot of databases got lost or, or leaked. Because nowadays, uh, when you deface the website, you don't, uh, don't only link to the main page, but you also link to the uh, entire database of a webshop. And uh, it's, it's become so massive that it's really hard to keep track of what exactly has been hacked, and another webshop, and another webshop, and another one, and, another one. and, another one. and uh, a, 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 por a flirting portal, and another webshop, and another webshop. And, um, 
gibt es ja andere äh, Statistiken. Uh, there are also die, other statistics um, as well. Anbahnungsstatistiken in Deutschland. Um, statistics for uh, sich inzwischen über das Internet relationships uh, glaub, that are started. Um, uh, so the question is how many people, uh, how many relationships are started over the internet? Let's assume over 50% or something. That of, of, inter of, of love relationships that are started, uh, that start in the internet. Recently, I have sat in a cafe and uh, on the ta table next to me, two women, uh, of, uh, a little older women, Sat, uh, we're talking about um, um, getting a good date, and uh, it, it wasn't a good idea to hang around in bars because all the guys are really wrecked down. So that's what I, uh, when I thought, okay, internet. Uh, whatever the number is, um, I've got 50% in my head. It's, uh, if it's uh, more than a third, it's still a lot. So that means that people go to these portals, uh, put in their, all the information, and I uh, think um, we'll keep back a hold back a little because it's uh, very personal, personal uh, data. But uh, especially in the private uh, news and data and chats, um, after, you know, everything that happens after you read the profile, that will, that will get lost. Okay. okay. And that means that you, um, everybody, everybody who, uh, the more and more people who do this, um, the, they will, their data will get lost. So we will become the post-privacy pacifists. Also, um, there are people who do, do that actively, there's are activists, but we will all become yeah. pacifists. Da wirst du dann zum post <coughs> and you so will they, you will become post private. Um, another thing is, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the argument is that uh, happens to everybody, so everybody, uh, if it happens to everybody, it won't be embarrassing anymore, so that isn't a problem. Yeah, right, sure. That's what the optimists say. I, uh, the, my, my, my interesting uh, um, uh, thing is, uh, that no, people say, oh, I have nothing to hide, so um, you don't have anything to hide, right? Uh, no, uh, yeah, before whom, right? nothing, right? So the question is, uh, before whom do we have to have hide? And um, the question is, the, that's the question we have to discuss and who is interested in this data. And the question is also uh, the demand for this kind of info and um, what are the um, results um, uh, that, that happen. Uh, of this data getting out. So then that's also what happens when we discuss carrier ID, IQ and um, what kind of uh, thinking about what kind of data is transmitted and what not. And from my American friends, interestingly, uh, there always came the argument, well, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't uh, rant about that so much because they couldn't improve the net quality uh, if they didn't do that. And I thought, yeah, well, last time I was in America, there were some posters um, uh, um, they advertised yeah. the fact that they had less drop calls than the competitors. <laughs> and uh, I was reminded of the last time I drove into a tunnel over here in Germany. So maybe the problem is somewhere else entirely. And the problem is not that here in Europe, carry RQ is not yet on the mobile phones, but the problem is something else. And the reactions were quite interesting. Because there were actually a, a lot of people who blindly accepted the fact that, that it has to be this way because otherwise the carriers wouldn't be able to improve their networks. Yes, we can all see that everybody needs the software from Carry IQ because everybody sticks to it and... Oh no, hold on, that's wrong. Sprint is, is actually uh, uninstalling it from the devices. I'm sure the, the quality of the network is going to decrease drastically. Ja, gut, brauchen nichts weiter zu sagen. SSL right, everything has been said about that. Links und rechts gefallen und die Certificate Authorities uh, fell like flies. Ich komme da später zu, also die Do we have something on that later? SSL ist ja auch eine Art Stuff like SSL is also in a way broken by design. Jetzt haben sie es zum Totalschaden gemacht. Now they completely wrecked it. Aber es wurde eigentlich erst so richtig zum Totalschaden. Well, as a matter of fact, they uh, only wrecked it when not only the, the governments who, uh, who uh, control the, uh, 
In dem Augenblick wurde allen klar, oh, oh, oh jetzt ist es wohl wirklich kaputt. The companies who issue those certificates anyway, so, but also countries like Iran, that's when we realized, oh, now everything is broken. Ist ein, äh, Because the, the principle behind this uh, is uh, it's, it's abbreviated as an uh, noble, which means nobody but us. And this, this seems to have been the case for these uh, SSL certificates. So these PKI infrastructures are obviously built on uh, quicksand and the uh, problem we have is the system is broken by design with a central authority and uh, one of the last uh, of these uh, infrastructures is uh, GSM. It's been broken by design from the right the start and um, in the same way that SSL has uh, been broken and the same and um, when um, SSL and SSH Parted, parted their ways, uh, nerds develop SSH um, to, to get on their boxes, SSL has um, been developed to um, have security whenever you need it and for all the mass. But one, one question I had, uh, the, that what are the next broken by design technology, technologies that will fall uh, in the near future? And I'm asking the Tetra. public. Tetra. Tetra is already broken, isn't it? Yeah, um, Tetra, Crypto, um, there's nobody had an idea? Is it broken if no one uses it? You mean uh, broken by design? Yeah. Yeah, uh, notable things. RSA was uh, one of the, really was one of the things where we had sort of looked and um, because it was a sort of a larger and uh, more thorough attack and the, whether the, the, the effects are still not really finished. And, uh, But Ach so, ah, es gab kein Problem. Ja, aber so, sie haben trotzdem what about the tokens and um, the, even if Weil there wasn't a problem with the also problem with the with the old ones uh, and still they uh, delivered nee, new ja tokens in December. The old, old ones weren't kaputt, broken also and the new ones problem, weren't broken and um, <laughs> there wasn't even a problem. Ah, didn't you read the press release? Okay. Okay, there was no problem. But uh, there were still new tokens. So there was a new was a point in time where there were new where they delivered new tokens, but there was no, wasn't a problem, which is good because there obviously it wasn't a problem. Problems are always bad, right? So um, next one is Sony Steam and Nasdaq. They never sent their people to the, uh, to the uh, lectures on, on how to deal with a PR crisis. Or maybe they, they, they went there and, and only went drinking at the bar and, and didn't listen to the lectures. So we have uh, Sony, Steam, the Nasdaq, SCADA at the internet. Das thing das with the R-Gap. Hat jemand mal ein R-Gap System gesehen? Has anyone ever das seen an R-Gap system? Ja, gut, ja, okay, I have. Fair. All right, fair um, enough. Hat jemand schon mal R-Gap Systeme gesehen, die nicht R-Gap waren? Has anyone seen R-Gap systems that were not R-Gap? <laughs> <laughs> ja, die Frage, ob WLAN R-Gap ist, ist sehr berechtigt. So the question glaube, whether or not uh, Wi-Fi is, is R-Gap is, uh, is very interesting. <laughs> Does anyone know anyone who knows someone who has seen an air gap system which was not in fact air gap at all? Okay, you just all want to keep it to yourselves, okay? Well, I guess the thing at SCADA was the, the technician had to go there to reboot it. Can we just uh, put a little button in there to reboot it remotely? Uh, there was this very nice case where everyone was hyperventilating for five days because uh, one of the uh, control units for one of the water pumps was malfunctioning for a couple of days in the US and in the end it turned out that it was just a technician who was logging in remotely from his, uh, from his vacation to check if everything was still okay. From an internet cafe? Well, I think, I think he was in Russia, and that's why they thought it was actually a, a cyber attack, and they were just about to, to get the tanks out. Yeah. 
Jetzt, oh, da bin ich so hin und her gerissen. Now, Oder oh, ich habe gesagt, really eine Runde Applaus, die Firma Microsoft issues. hat thought, Auto Run für XP. Uh, dann I would doch ask for a round of applause, Jahr. because Microsoft has disabled ja, also Auto Run for Windows XP. So let's, let's uh, have a round of applause for Microsoft here. Und, und jetzt dürft ihr doch mal euren Hass rausbringen. And now you can uh, shout out your hate that it took them so long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ja, yeah. alright. Dann müssen wir noch hinweisen auf die größte Phishing-Kampagne uh, überhaupt. Need to point out one of the biggest phishing campaigns ever. Untergekommen als verified by Visa oder Mastercard. You might know it as a verified by Visa or Mastercard 3D Secure. Those are those pop-up windows that always appear and they look like they look like a bad attempt at phishing. And it actually happened to me. I was buying something at a web shop. Und dann dachte ich, wie zahle ich jetzt auch die Karte? Oh, how do I pay? Oh, let's use und, my credit card. Und dann klicke ich da und klicke ich da und dann there, hoppt da und so ein, so ein Ding auf, auf in dieser Webseite mit diesen the website, Dingern, blinkenden Dingern da nochmal so reingeflogen war und dann waren die Grafiken like tagged like onto the website, nicht ordentlich, the das sah also auch noch echt fake aus. Badly scaled. Ja. It looked really like a fake. <lacht> ich dachte, die wollen mich doch verarschen, oder? Das uh, kann doch nicht euer Ernst sein, dass wenn ich jetzt hier meine me, Karte kann, die mich dazu zwingen wollen, they're not expecting me to enter my credit card number into that form, including some of the secret numbers for the first time, in order to secure my transaction for the next ja. uh, 100 times I use that. Das konnte ich natürlich nicht sehen, ob das SSL war oder nicht. I was not able to see if also this was secured by SSL nicht or not. Ich geguckt habe, wo, wo dieses Schloss ist, aber das Schloss gibt's ja eh nicht mehr zu sehen. Das ja jetzt Because uh, most of the today's unter dem Adblock button ist. Browsers hide that little uh, symbol of a, of a closed lock under an Adblock yeah. button or something like that. Die andere Seite. Um, There is a verified by Visa question from the audience. Dass alle Daten, die man da eingeben have you muss, noticed um that all the data that you have to enter into these verified by Visa pop-ups, uh, they are actually printed on the, <laughs> ja, ja. On the card itself? Also das, ja. Ja, yeah, we, we saw ja das that. Daran. Also ich meine, das sieht, And this is astonishing. Das, ich sitz da vor einem Shop, dem ich eh nicht so I'm ganz sitting in vertrau. front of a web shop, ja, which I don't Wenn entirely so trust, and suddenly I get a, a strange pop-up. Und dann that looks like a bad phishing sagen, attempt, and uh, darf ich, darf ich ganz kurz I was about to, to close everything. Das ist nicht ganz korrekt. Es gibt verschiedene Varianten, so wie man das implementieren a, kann. Es gibt auch verschiedene Some different Methoden, specifications, it's not quite correct. So there's uh, different specifications and different options you can uh, implement. Uh, so there um, are from the not every this is, but there's also uh, other parameters that you can give in. So some providers also let you enter your birth date uh, or other in info. Um, <laughs> Yes, uh, that's also rubbish, but it at least secures our job for the next 30 years. Und wenn nicht für uns, dann für die Fischer. Und wenn nicht für uns, dann für die Fischer. Ja, aber wir weisen nochmal darauf hin, dass der eigentliche Skandal hat, dass die real Skandal nicht die Usability Issues, sondern dass man da auch immer neue Anwesen bekommt, die 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 Anwesen bekommt, The yeah, terms and conditions give you the, the problem uh, for the responsibility for that. So, uh, so far it has um, been the way that uh, when you pay by credit card, you usually are out of the loop uh, quite easily. Um, if if the web shop, for example, uses data and um, these. Um, um, uh, these, this verification method are mainly intended to give uh, the customer part of his um, of his responsibility, um, which wasn't before there before. So um, also there was this uh, thing, this obscure thing, so for uh, immediate uh, transfer where you are asked to. You hand in your your account data plus an extra tan um, um, to have to 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 have this done. Um, uh, open own source repositories were also a main trend in, in 2011, um, which leads us to the interesting questions. Many of them were source files repository. Um, the question is, who of you still reads source? Uh, who reads all this source anyway? A couple of people, and then now, um, hands down, who only read PHP source. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Does anybody understand it? Yeah. 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 
a question of the audience without a microphone. Sorry. Waiting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, John, uh, uh, hijacking will be uh, okay, the, the hijacking, trend. Um, we had this already. Also, the the, the so fact. Uh, also, the, it was noted that the U.S. actually used the drone. And, uh, officially used the drone in the, in their country, um, which is also interesting. And also in Germany, uh, it was made legal that. You can use drones now, or yeah. it was at least yeah, discussed um, during the transport of the nuclear waste uh, in Germany yeah, uh, and during the pro protests. They had uh, like quadrocopter style uh, drones. Um, they, they're talking about large drones, like 150 or more kilos. Um, they're, they, they're discussing that and they're already trying to make it legal for those drones that can fly around for hours and hours uh, without uh, landing and to be used for these things. Oh, there's new, also news. Um, um, there's also news about drones. At Moto Drone, it happened that the drones uh, fired friendly at each other and uh, killed each other. That was uh, usually um, reserved for people, so that's the te um, technological progress. A lot of these drones are, are not really armed, but the way that they uh, do their intelligence it has a lot to do with uh, pattern recognition. So if there is a group of people who moves in a certain pattern, they simply declare that as a target. Yeah, this is something we already had yesterday in uh, the topic about a Facebook virus mafia. They only use computers, so uh, maybe they have a lot of screens and they get bored and they don't need all their screens and you, you know that from, from uh, video games, if you have to walk long distances, you have something else on the, on the other screen. And uh, if you have wireless LAN, then you also have the air gap. Gaddafi? Gaddafi? Well, the drones, I think it's, it's just new targets. The Gaddafi, I guess we simply have new targets now. When they killed Gaddafi, they also used drones. And uh, when, in the case of, of Osama, they, uh, the, the, uh, the fact that they used drones uh, was, uh, was also very important there. And they also had nice videos of, of protesters uh, in Moscow where the, actually the protesters were using drones in order to show uh, their numbers. And this is just going to increase in the future. Uh, the topic about fighting against publicity. Oh yeah, hash algorithm collision denial of service. What about the fallout? Has anybody heard something? Nothing? We're so quiet today. Have they turned off the internet? Okay, we have bullet points for 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, get to the microphones. For the bullet points for 2012. We don't want to do this all by ourselves. Evil networks. We will start. Evil networks to oh, intelligent meters, smart meters versus SCADA. We were thinking that the smart meters uh, had opportunities this year already because they, they have been made compulsory, at least in Germany, since the beginning of the year. But you can opt out of them. And uh, there was, uh, at the end of last year, the first suppliers that, uh, that were selling these smart meters, but a few hundred euros. Uh, you could get them in your home and uh, just a few hundred euros more you, you could have them and, and implement them, use them to save a few cents in your electricity bill. That makes, made it, of course, a huge success. So huge that Google actually withdrew from that and so did Microsoft. So um, that was why we do not have as much hope that Lincoln Lights for whole towns uh, will happen through smart meters.
Also wir, wir so setzen we eigentlich hier auf Skydive. Actually so, are looking so towards Skydive for that. Sounds more likely somehow. Also in den FAQs zu the den FAQs about smart meters at the suppliers include the question how how are these patched and and they well they don't yeah, answer that question. Uh, air gap, I suppose. Over the air gap. <laughs> Und erfolgreich? And successfully? Hat er, hat er geantwortet, wie Sie die patchen? Did they reply how this was patched? Apparently someone in the audience asked. Ah, Sie wissen, dass Sie sie wahrscheinlich patch. patchen müssen. Ah, they do know ja, that they will also probably have to patch them. Also Remote updates. Remote updates. Das ist gut. That's good. Sie denken nur, they Sie können Remote updates They believe only they machen. can do remote updates. Wahrscheinlich ist Probably es SSL it's SSL secured, right? Und wir haben noch ein Zertifikat. And we do have a certificate. Also, SSL gesichert, ja, auf jeden Fall. Uh, yeah, also, it's air secured, surely. Das letzte Mal uh, ist last es nicht time. SSL gesichert. Not SSL secured. <lacht> also, das letzte Mal, als ich well, so, so ein Spezialist zu ihm hatte, war es schon so drei Jahre uh, her. It was about three years ago, I was looking at this, and the design spec said, uh, there was an 8 megabyte uh, uh, firmware image, and with that smart meter, there was about 5 or 7 kilobits of bandwidth, and uh, that's how they wanted to do online updates. I thought, very courageous of them, very courageous specs. Uh, now, these days, they want to uh, use GSM for these things, Oh, there's someone with a mic there. So I would wish for 2012 that people like uh, the Secretary of State and people working in political offices would actually be yeah, shown to be AstroTurf in face. For example, the talk we saw yesterday at the for in the um, detection of author authorship. Uh, yeah. Like so you mean, for example, copy paste halt in uh, official documents? Those no, so just so you can see um, specific Büro, features of language. Uh, for example, so you can see this is uh, this very this specific employee of this specific political office that's um, after talking here. Yeah, that would be a nice idea. Okay, so to GSM, I suppose you don't have to say anything else to that. There's a huge boom in the GSM infrastructure, and apparently there's a modernization backlog. But this, this is not the innovation backlog. This is, uh, the standards are actually written, but they, they are not implemented. There are ways to make the st um, standard structures actually make them secure, so they could last another year or two, but they don't actually get implemented ever. So this is something we can take home from this Congress again. And then there's one more, one, another question has been if a censored net is actually better than a network that's being shut off, or vice versa. So, does anybody have any strong opinions on this? Um, yes, no. Okay. So, the story that really. Um, oh, I want to practice that word, the natocalypse. I can pronounce it today. What really disturbs me about IPv4 this year is that. Um, there was this description of you seeing a tank lorry um, what do you do um, if you see a tank lorry drive past you and then the driver suddenly gets out and, and runs away do you run as well and for 2012 we were thinking that these v4 towards v6 thing will have to be looked at in more detail so um, that will be lead to interesting disruptions. There's something, some potential here. Um, you can, of course, nat everything to death, and the other option could be uh, disowning um, uh, the, those that have large class A networks that you could root in, in theory, you could disown these. And uh, uh, at least IP address communism, right? Um, if, if you think of the Hamburg-Berlin train uh, line that was fastened, made faster, uh, these things have to be disowned. And, uh, 
eine so eine Bahntrasse und dann fällt mir die Daten ein. And, and that makes me think of the data motorway, as it was called in Germany. Um, so is, is, this about, is this about freeing the, the construction of, of data motorways? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. But probably it will just delay the whole thing. And uh, the, never mind, the, our recommendation anyway is if, if you're building anything that needs IPv4, then make sure it works with NAT. Yeah, uh, clouds. One of the interesting news in, in, in the NOC was when I was asking them about the internet, because I was, I'm going to talk about it in, in the closing event, uh, we actually did have a denial of service attack on the Congress. Against the Congress? Yes, thank you. From the Amazon cloud. And, uh, well, of course, now we'll have to find the culprit, and uh, someone, we must have just failed with the non-aggression pact, or someone must not have signed and faxed it or something. The interesting question is, uh, does, does the Amazon cloud have a non-aggression pact with uh, the Google cloud? How do these cloud walls actually look like? Gibt's denn da so Is that, are there flashlights or something? Flashes? Thunder? Uh, didn't someone say yesterday that only Google, uh, only with Google's resources you were able to, to stop Google or disable Google? Amazon versus Google, who would win? Google. But Microsoft is the answer. That's the answer. Microsoft. Also, well, yeah, we, discussed a bit about, uh, we were discussing uh, what about all these clouds, what was going to happen. And does Steve Barmer sleep with a suitcase chained to his hand with a red button? Uh, such a cloud is, of course, nothing simply a botnet that, that you, it's just cheaper to buy than a botnet, right? The, Yeah, buttons are much cheaper, but one must have something to do with it. Way cheaper, just that you have to get. Go, you don't know what happens with your credit card number, do you? And, uh, and uh, okay, you can just buy a credit card number, then buy the botnet with that. Of course, you could go with that number and, and buy Amazon with support, right? So, also the, so uh, we see this, this, this whole thing about cloud. You see all this cloud topic with that stupid, well, forget about the stupid term, but you can do a lot with that. <laughs> and with a T in the end as well. Clout, I suppose. Token, token calypse. I can practice that word again. <laughs> No, I did say, didn't I, that the Congress is four days and that does have leave, has its effects even on us. Speaking of spelling, didn't someone ha uh, tell me what the uh, reason is that German compounds are increasingly written with spaces, which they shouldn't be? And they, these spaces are called full spaces. The reason actually is T9. The, um, if you if you type on your phones and uh, you've got this language correction, whether it's T9 or uh, any kind of correction, uh, just can't de deal with those compounds. And uh, if, if you get corrections all the time and the computer does that for you all the time, it tells you, no, you can't combine it like that. It has to be wrong. And that's why people start to, to write that way, the way Ron does, right? <laughs> Okay, the token collapse. Yeah, we, we can't say all so. 
We do know. Everybody knows uh, the bank once or twice a year they, they give you plastic things that you put your chip card in and you type something in and you will look at a display or sometimes it, it directly communicates to the bank using SSL supposedly. And since it's hardware and hardware, you know hardware is supposed to be secure, authentication tokens are our last, last best hope for security against Trojans. And we predict that in 2012 there might be a slight readjustment of security perception there. Because these tokens, if you actually open them up, if you actually look at them, uh, then usually it's just a simple CPU that's actually running software. Does, did anyone say PHP? So one of the, the prime quotes from somebody who's actually uh, researching that direction, it, he said it seems that the former PHP coders have finally arrived at the hardware level and are now doing indicator systems programming. Um. Another interesting detail here is we already mentioned the electronic um, ID card, uh, which is actually now, now it's called the modern, the new ID card, because the, the e person term is, well, can out of style now. So the new electronic identity card, national identity card, is actually, if you look at it, <laughs> something like a single sign-on code, because there's features you can unlock and have unlocked. So um, how, you can use healthy authentication to access services. And the interesting thing is that, that uh, the people from the government are actually responsible for uh, malware protection. They are actually uh, following the browse because they're thinking now you have all identities in one place and one of the identities are centralized. So if this store gets broken or stolen, then that's pretty much the same as when the fingerprint database gets stolen, the fingerprint biometric data gets stolen, because you only have one of these identification devices. So another thing that we expect... Uh, I've got another one. Uh, with the new identity card, uh, surely uh, there is this e-government progress, maybe not for 2012, but maybe 2015, because now with uh, new uh, data fields there, you could actually put genetic data and uh, all that and of course you can look forward to new progress there and uh, the, the term token suddenly gets a new meaning if, if you think of DNA on there too. How, how, how do you imagine this? So like, like uh, the, the Berlin police facts that well, thank you. you don't know. It, 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 it's, it's in early research right now. So you just take the, your, your national identity card and to, to take a sample, you just put it into your shoulder or something, you slice off your shoulder? Yeah. Yeah. No. So, before we get DNA-based uh, locking systems that just take a, take a blood sample every time you want to enter exit a room, we have lots more fun with electronic lock mechanisms. Just currently, there's a huge proliferation of known bad, known broken chip card systems like MyFair Classic, for example, that are suddenly being used in um, apartment doors and office complexes. So, you always think, well, you're talking to Congress about four years ago, uh, MyFair Classic's been broken. So, yeah, broken, done, nobody, nobody in the right mind will still use that. And, well, you'd be wrong, it's, it's, it's about something like a config. It has a life of its own, it keeps going. And the people that actually make this hardware, they actually, it takes them so long to get new hardware on the market that they still sell MyFair classic cards as new now. So thus we assume that in 2000, uh, 2012 we see a number of broken locking mechanisms. The most interesting part of this will be how are they going to patch this? How do they how will they handle this? Because normally the industry's response is if your lock is broken, you buy a new one. And the computer industry says if it's broken, well, you need an update. And this clash of cultures is going to be very interesting in the future. They, they also, each of these devices is communicating with each other using radio waves. So how, how does that relate to NFC? Well, there's, there's probably going to be um, smartphones, smartphones you can use for access control. And then the question becomes, does Apple not only know which Wi-Fi I've seen, but also which doors I actually stepped through? And will Siri eventually tell me that, hey, you didn't move enough today? Oh, and then you can write nice applications like computer, open door. <laughs> <laughs> So, since this week, I think, uh, there's Siri for the, the Android market or something. And 
the <laughs> distributor is called official app. Du meinst für die so you think for the, the family support cases <laughs> regarding <laughs> Android Trojans that we missed <laughs> before? Yeah. 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 So just install <laughs> this uh, official Siri app and get back to us, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. Thema, another topic um, corporate franchise that we think about for a while is corporate franchise city-states. Uh, so die, die, die so what we mean by that is that um, the future is clear. You uh, elect Either, either through being born into or through rebellion and moving out, moving away, you choose your city state you want to live in. Facebook state, for example, which is, of course, which is going to be um, corporate sponsored, like the Facebook state, uh, the Google state, the Apple state. There's plenty of literature, literature on this from uh, Neil Stevenson, Snow Crash, Snow Crash, for example. And you, we are already seeing the, the presidency. So city-states 1.0. Last year we already said that it's uh, the, the Apple camp and the Android camp and the Facebook camp and Amazon this year. Google with Google Plus. Then Google bought Motorola. But of course they don't have any plans so there's nothing to see here. Please move along. And so so please leave your real name, then move on. And now, one of the things that are going in this direction very much, um, we actually are talking in this Congress, is the, the threat to general purpose computing. Because we see that more and more devices that used to be called computers, but nowadays don't deserve the name anymore because now they're only pets or something. They get on the market, they come on the market, and you can't actually do anything with them. So now you're having a hard time to actually get a general purpose computer that you can just open a shell on and get a computer that's actually on your own control. And of course these corporate franchise city-states have a vested interest in... <laughs> And the, the interesting question is this general purpose computing I have a computer here and I can install on it whatever I want so the only reason I can do that is for well, historical reasons because if, if they could they would actually only sell us hardware that where we, where we can only play stuff from the Apple Store or the Android market and that, that they don't do this in some places is simply because historically they didn't have a choice and now they're going to board this up and then we get a new bias technology, what's its name again, um, something, EFI? No, um, U, UEFI, exactly. And so then they're actually taking taking the what we call laptop PC away from us too and of course this is not without consequence so for the, the supporter it's actually uh, advantages in, uh, in like family support and for everything else it's a huge step back so the, the interesting question here is when and if and how many people will actually remain that will still have unlimited, unfettered access to the hardware, ask for the unlimited access to the hardware, and whether there is, will be an option when ordering a computer that you have a checkbox to get a computer specialized for your case. Sorry for the interruption. Um, what we also will uh, 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 meet is a uh, nice uh, grub and other crypto wars. And uh, they want to. <coughs> so all the grub wants um, is. Ah, du meinst boot crypto wars, yeah? Yeah, genau. Uh, boot crypto wars, yeah. Ich glaube, das war Gigabyte oder MSI, die einfach gesagt haben. Uh, I think it was MSI that asked, yeah, what, do you want to run operating system other than Windows on that? So you, you get the impression as a Windows 8 user that um, 
that will become uh, Windows becomes sort of a, a operating system for the fringe. So <coughs> what, um, what we have to learn is that uh, hackers are only a very, very, very small portion of a, of a computer, um, of computer users. So our needs are becoming, um, becoming more and more, uh, less and less important in comparison to the general majority that wants certain kinds of computers. So what's the message? Maybe that we uh, have to buy more computers just, uh, just that our needs are met. So what we have to do is probably just um, make sure that we can still do what we want with our computer. So jailbreaking and other things are getting more and more important so that our access to the hardware um, is uh, still maintained and the hardware stays ours uh, even where, when we bought it and um, it doesn't become a using rights, uh, licensing rights uh, vehicle for what we paid a couple of hundred dollars and we've got to really work hard on that in the next couple of years. So, yes, everybody wants to become a platform. Everybody wants to um, Jeder wird die einen wählen ihre Plattform und some choose their platform and the other the the, well, and, and the others the platform chooses the users. And um, most uh, uh, often enough both. If you are, for example, in a uh, uh, user, uh, the citizen in the Apple city state, then uh, it may happen that you get also get a sort of parasitic, parasitic yeah, uh, citizenship in some sort of botnet yeah, user state. So, um, uh, what we have seen in the last couple of days and weeks and in, on the Congress is that you have to be cautious. And uh, there will, there are many people have uh, made sure the airgaps uh, possible. For there are very many things that are moved uh, heavily and still are controlled by computers. So you have to be careful. Is that if you see uh, something on the other side of the tunnel, that is a may, might be a train and a ship and uh, or something? Maybe you know remind yourself that it might not be. A Simulation. So, but, but we can learn from the future because it's clear what ha will happen and uh, you, you, you know what happens with the Starship uh, Enterprise and you know the Starship Enterprise is in enemy territory and uh, you know in, in, uh, in uh, enemy territory yes. and then you can just take uh, off um, every panel and just have uh, two or three wires and uh, only have to hack in one or two codes and then overtake the computer. Is that appropriate? And then um, I ask myself, what does that mean? If I sit uh, in the train with my, uh, with my screwdriver, what will happen then? Only if I have a disc, I am uh, dangerous for the train, and especially for well, uh, for the reserva seat reservation uh, in the in ICEs. This is still the case with a diskette, uh, the floppy disk. So we uh, we will recommend we will um, may, we want to point that uh, computer nerds. Um, Tim tweeted recently that uh, his, his uh, in his opinion, the bank card 100 was like a one, one year's flat rate for traveling with the Deutsche Bahn. It is a status symbol for nerds, so we will note that nerds are distracted as long as the wireless is working. And why it was a very bad idea to turn it off again in planes? Another key word for 2012. If the wireless is not free, then they spend a lot of time to circumvent exactly that. This is a very important uh, thing to point out here. Hallo, hallo. Hallo. Ich sagen, um, just wanted ja, to add von uns, uh, that every one of us, so den Leuten in Deutschland hat ja auch ein Auto. Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr es wisst, aber all im Auto steht auch in Germany own a car and uh, Und, our cars um, contain ja, one or two or a lot of computers as well. Und vielleicht 
that what they're currently trying to do is to, to get a common operating system for all the cars, and you should have a closer look at the uh, most recent updates that were shipped for the Toyota Prius. There's no chance to get any, any data from this. It's all secured by SSL. BMWs hang ja jetzt eh über einen iPhone am Internet. And the BMWs, they, they already have a connection over the iPhones. And this was a wise decision. It saves a lot of work. It's called Connected Drive. Ja, liebe Leute. Was wir 2012 noch sehen werden, And another thing we are going to see in 2012 are Spam-E-Mails. Spam emails um that are signed or encrypted using PGP in order to, to get past the spam filter, which will have the effect that encrypted emails will be uh, filtered out as bad emails, and this will have the effect that no one will use encryption anymore. So the question we are asking ourselves is who, is, who are the ones that initially send out all those spam emails? I have signed, uh, seen signed spam. Although the signatures were broken. And then we have the new job perspective in uh, social network relationships. There is a note from the audience uh, on, uh, on emails. There was this project called the email which is basically a step back because no one is really using it. They were advertising it as a uh, secure way of sending emails, but no one in Germany uses it. There were press releases about that. There were ministers who, uh, who talked about this, and uh, everyone was supporting it. People were supposed to write mails. Those mails were to be uh, recorded. But it doesn't look like they have any users yet. So relationships in, in social networks are a new area of business. It turns out you can buy relationships in social networks. Does anyone know how many relationships you have to maintain in order to, to make a living out of it? Who has friends though? Who, who knows someone who... And the answer is of course the right one. Genau. Und, ähm, ganz exactly. Ja, dann, dann, oh ja, das, das war sehr schön. Oder? And this is also also a very nice thing here. USA ja dann in the US, Miniskandal oder there was so. a small ja, scandal. Fragt, wo die If you ask ist, uh, Siri, the uh, new assistant on the iPhone, uh, the way to the next abortion clinic, it, in most cases it will not give you an answer, Umfeld, because none of the abortion clinics in the vicinity uh, are called abortion clinics. Stehen, dass sie Abtreibung machen in ihrer, and they in ihrer don't advertise the fact that they are actually performing abortions. Or do they? I don't know. I'm not sure. What, what, is it, what does ja, it say there? Anyway. Yeah, so, so was. Da steht dann Schwangerschaftsoptimierung. Yeah, well, they, they, they call it uh, optimizing your pregnancy or something like that, but they won't spell it, spell it out. So there is one thing that we desperately need, it's, it's uh, optimizers for metadata that will be able to, uh, to optimize the data that already exists so people can find the things that they are looking for. Good. Um, virtual sock puppet crowd. Uh, virtual uh, sock puppet crowd. Ich weiß nicht, was kosten so irgendwie so. Uh, what does it cost Wikipedia to to Wikipedia buy a hundred Wikipedia users that write ar write articles in in favor of a yeah, of a company or of a person? It's not relevant. relevant. <laughs> yeah. It's not relevant. Ja, eine Sache, eine Sache, die wir 2012 sicherlich sehen Another werden, thing that we will certainly see in 2012 die, uh, eine Menge Firmen is that a lot of werden, companies will go bankrupt because Aber they don't make Service enough money anymore, but they, they still keep ja, services uh, running that people so would like to use. So there is a new trend we are seeing, it's called uh, life support for, for zombie companies. In order to keep companies ja, alive that would otherwise go bankrupt. So we already had metadata optimizer, but this time it's, it's put in double quotes. Damit, wenn man nach Abtreibungsklinik sucht, bei der CDU-Zentrale landet. So the uh, the trick here is, uh, if people look for an abortion clinic, to send them to the uh, central of the uh, of the ruling uh, party of the German government. So then we have data hygiene 2.0. 
I think the, uh, there are some people who need to think about if it's okay to, to uh, store positional data. Because uh, nowadays, when you look at a smartphone, it's, it's actually uh, almost a medical device. You have a motion sensor, which is, is uh, really quite sensitive. If you take your smartphone in, in the morning in order to look what happened on Twitter in the, in the past four to eight hours, then uh, the, the shaking of your hands shows uh, that your blood sugar level is maybe too low, and that uh, you could make a, a trend out of that, the thing knows where you are, it knows which, which way you're moving and which way you're looking and so on. The things have a metal frame, so there is uh, no reason why this metal frame could not measure the, uh, the resistance of, of your skin, which means that you could make a, a, a good lie detector from that. Ah, yeah, da gab's um, schön, there was um, a, a, concept, a nice proof of concept um, where someone had a uh, smartphone uh, next to the keyboard. I uh, maybe it might have been an IBM 101, uh, one that's louder, but uh, and you could um, find out the password by the vibration. So we are uh, for being sensors, they're quite quite good. So we haven't seen uh, what you, uh, everything you can do with that. So that costs uh, too much battery to make a paint station out of that. Yeah, good. Um, so yeah, uh, and at one addition uh, in, uh, for about zombie company life sport. Um, as I uh, as I know uh, that um, that already exists. That's the bank saving bailout package. Yeah, you also had this video Barbie. I wasn't finished. All my always on speech recognition is the next thing that will happen. Um, this thing about ice cream sandwich that you can uh, log in with your face um, um, is uh, really nothing. Um, when, what, what happens if you move around with the, with the camera uh, around your face? Then you will get uh, 3D data. We've seen a lot of things um, about uh, in that uh, Connect Fusion talk. Uh, also a distance sensor, and uh, there will also be a heat map for the face uh, from the face that you can get that can read, which will also be interesting uh, if you can get that data in relation to the picture. Um, so uh, the discussion uh, if whether your position is uh, already your geolocation is problematic uh, in relation to what can happen is really uh, yeah it will become interesting and then you remember um, the video Barbie from December 2010 buy your uh, kid a Barbie uh, that has a um, that has a video camera implemented in order to surveil the unsurveilled moments uh, in terms of yeah, biometry, you have the um, biometry in uh, the car seat that um, will uh, that will register the the backward uh, car uh, body body forms uh, the drive by bottom uh, uh, mold um, in order to adjust the car seat. So that um, you will have to um, really look uh, in what kind of seats you. It. And uh, someday Starbucks will come and uh, build custom uh, seat, uh, sitting bags, uh, bean bags uh, that will adjust to your body. So um, also in 2012, yeah, there will um, more collision between uh, what you expect and what will actually happen um, in terms of privacy and. Um, the private sphere, and um, these um, discussions will be more, even more interesting than uh, formal uh, violations of law, because there you can see what can actually happen even within the legal parameters. And there was an interesting discussion this year. There was this person uh, about uh, the, where, whose um, woman, uh, whose wife got lost, uh, um, and they they actually um, uh, bugged uh, his car and uh, recorded. Some um, Self-talks where this guy talks to himself uh, in a suspicious manner, so not over the telephone, 
to himself during the, during uh, driving the car, and this was recording. And now is the question: Can we can this be used against him? Because he wasn't on the telephone, um, which you can re which you're allowed to record on the telephone. But is it uh, is it if talking to yourself is uh, legal? Uh, is, is 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 that the same as thinking, or is or not? Um, and uh, is that the question is legal? So that's the same about. Um, uh, the, the same as if a tree falls in the woods and no one hears it, uh, you know, um, it will become very philosophical if that is allowed to uh, use be helping against them, and there will be law derived from that, and that will be become very interesting. A question from the audience. Yes, the, we, we uh, had the question uh, in, in the state chosen uh, malware discussion uh, what um, telecommunication is and what isn't and if tele telecommunication happened between persons and machines and if Siri is a machine or not um, and uh, these kind of things will be discussed very more intense than this year and uh, what the legal ramifications of that will be and um, what uh, kind of communication will is, be, is allowed to be used by the state and whatnot, and these um, constructs uh, are more than just the legal constructs. And I uh, can't hear this, I'm sorry, this too quiet. What is it self, uh, talking to yourself? If someone has open an, an a chat window, it's talking to himself there, and all this brings us to the fact that uh, there are many open questions in this area. And I think the most uh, limiting factor is actually the battery life of your smartphone. Because we have more and more services on our smartphones that eat up battery. And wouldn't it be better to just uh, give ourselves more, more time? Because everything is always evolving, but the only thing that's missing is the, is the uh, life expectancy of your, of your phone battery. Hat noch jemand was ganz Wichtiges? Wir sind ein wenig hinter der Zeit. And, uh, we're der IRC, behind a, behind der IRC bittet um uh, das Voting und um die Umfrage und wie was für Verschlüsselung in den WLAN-Netzen gibt in den letzten Tagen. In welchen Netzen? In den WLAN-Netzen. So Access there is a request from the IRC for a voting. Es geht darum, es wurde anscheinend letztes Jahr auch gemacht. Um, wie welcher Anteil last year. Frage ins Publikum? Um, ah ja, ich weiß. Die, die Frage ins, ins Publikum. Wie viele so question for the audience. Ihr, How many networks do you see if you open um, up your laptop die, die, at home? Die, die sehen, Those that don't see any wireless networks, please raise your hand now. So. Very few wow. hands. The farmers. But five people who don't see any wireless networks when they open up their laptops at home. Who sees more than 50? About one. Those are the people who live in the inner city. Okay, wer, wer hat dann so mehr als drei? Who has more than three? Uh, just about everyone. <laughs> alle. Everyone. Ungefähr alle. About everyone. Um, die, 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 um, Those who sehen, wer, wer see wireless networks, who of them is seeing unencrypted wireless networks? Well, there are a few at the Congress, aren't there? But that's on purpose. So there are shouts for attacking those wireless networks from the audience. Und, und wer, wer sieht welche, wo die and SSID who uh, sees wireless networks where the SSID contains political or religious statements? <laughs> okay, auch, auch 30. About 30, maybe? 30 ish. <laughs> okay. Na gut. All right then. Dann, uh, Wenn nicht noch jemand, was wirklich doll wichtig ist, so if no one else has something zwei, of the uttermost importance, dann vielen Dank. Und, then uh, thank you very much. Yeah, and have a happy 1984.